All right, boys. Today, uh, it's it's really oh jeez. Today it's really garbage weather out, honestly. But uh, you already know, your boys are hard at work. We're still going to the farm. We're still making that mad YouTube bread. Um, we're gonna go to the farm. Me and Isaac are gonna bring both our dirt bikes back. And uh, have they seen? Have they seen your new bike? No, you haven't. I got a new bike, the YZ250F that was in the video that has been in one video for like literally 10 seconds. You guys may remember Rosie, the dirt bike. Well, got the heck rid of her. Now I got a new one. The YZ250F that was in a video for like 10 seconds is now gone. Caleb bought a Suzuki RMZ450 from a guy. I sold my bike, bought that bike from Caleb. So now I'm the proud owner of a Suzuki RMZ450. Have they seen mine? No, Isaac Isaac also, not a new new bike, but it's a, it's a bike you guys haven't seen yet. So we're going to go to the farm. We're gonna get those bikes, we're gonna bring them back, do an oil change. I'm doing a wrap on my bike. Uh, kind of a custom wrap, that'll be cool. We'll do a little bit of a road time last and we'll probably be at the farm, so bye-bye. kids say we have damn near arrived at our destination. If you guys are real homie bros to the channel, you know this road very well. It's probably gonna be a freaking swamp. So, I don't know, we'll see We'll see what the situation is when we get there, we'll kind of judge it, but uh, let's, let's go to that cliff right now, watch this. Oh, I'm gonna wipe the screen. Bro, she's one swampy boy. You've arrived at your destination. <laughs> Sheesh! Okay guys, we're down at Vivian. Cabin's looking mint as ever. Wonder why the shop is muddy, Isaac. Could it be that you just rooster tailed my dirt bike? Why does it seem like the lights are doing more than typical? No? Turn them on. <laughs> grim, grim, grim. <laughs> grim. Turn them off. That's why, because they're actually warmed up. Okay, here's the new lights. Damn, bro, looking clean! This is my new baby. Stutter Uki Farms Eve. So yeah, she's a Suzuki RMZ450. Um, the mods that have been done to it, it's bone stock. So none. So none. Yeah, I already peeled some of the wrap off so it looks cleaner. Here's what she used to look like. As you can see, the wrap's kind of junking up anyways. What do we got here? Uh, 2008 Honda, so it's good. Yeah. Sierra 450R. How many kicks shop? 10. Three. Anyways guys, we know you don't care at all. Um, so we're gonna get these things loaded up into the back of the freaking rally lariat here. We got the good old 80, you know, looking clean as ever. Hey, we'll get the bikes pulled out uh, first and foremost. We gotta open up the doors. Let's get to that. I hope he realizes that if he's gonna do anything cool, I have to be able to see him. It's wet! It's too freaking wet to ride. So we're just gonna load it up. There will be a riding video coming soon though. But this video is mainly gonna be uh, doing oil change and uh, putting a wrap on this bitch. So that'll be cool. Damn it! My bike. Door, was resting on his door. The door slid open more, tipped over. That's yeah, the sorry. crunch my foot peg. Freaking bone stock Suzuki quality. Look at this crap. What is this? Cast iron. Cast, cast iron bullshit right there. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta order a new set of those, apparently. And we're gonna get these bikes loaded up. And uh, what are you doing? I'm trying to lean it up against something. I didn't drop. Oh my gosh, I will get you a triangle.
So yeah, so we're gonna take these back. We're gonna get the wrap peeled off mine, the one that it has right now. We're gonna put the new one on it. It's not really a wrap, but it's it's a custom thing that I that I had in mind to do. So this video is kind of junk, but we thought it'd be better. We plan on kind of riding today, but you know, you gotta make do. Am I right? Oh, am I right? Nice ABS. Thank you. We got everything loaded up in the back. All right, boys. You already know. <laughs> ah! It won't focus. But I got foot bags <laughs> ordered. I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm over dirt bikes, damn it. I'm selling it when I get home. Oh yes. Yeah, I got up runnings. Get some. Oh. After that, head to Isaac's. Start peeling shit off. Boys, this is the fullest I've ever seen the runnings parking lot. Cop the bread. Got ourselves some 10W40 straight up conventional because we're cheap asses. None of that f***ing good shit. Just screw that. Isaac claims that conventional does better in dirt bikes, so we're gonna we're gonna put that to the test. You guys want some ASMR here? We got ourselves a freaking competitor to the to the rally Larry at this. She'll pull on him though. Don't you worry. Oh, brother. So quite simply put, you can't do an oil change with the bikes looking like this. This is just shameful. You don't want dirt getting in anything. We went to Walmart, bought a sprayer nozzle. So we're going to bring the bikes out, spray them down, get them good and clean, and do an oil change on them. I'm gonna peel the rest of the wrap off my bike, get the new clutch cable installed, cause look at this, hold on. Like, yeah, okay, see that little strand right there? That's all I got left for a cable. It's a neat little life hack that Isaac just taught me. Look at this. No kickstands, no nothing. They're just connected at the hip like Siamese twins. Little update for you, Isaac's genius plan did not exactly come to fruition. I've never tipped my bike over before today. And it's tipped over twice today, so now I have now I have two bent levers. This one came from the factory like this. This one did not. So now I have a now I have a badass race clutch lever. That's pretty cool. Got the bikes washed up, pretty decent. Gonna peel the rest of this wrap off this side if I can actually get under it. All right guys, now we got Bertram looking clean as heck. We're going to go on the undercarriage here where I assume somewhere is a drain bolt. We're going to drain the oil, put new oil in, that's that's it. I'm not gonna change the oil filter on this one. Um, at some point I will do that, but not right now. My drain plug's right here uh, on a dirt bike, you just kind of drain it. So, there we go, got it loose. Take your socket. This is, these are not some pretty long threads, I think. Okay, and you kind of want to have your pan ready, cause a bunch of oil's gonna come out. It had oil in it. We already drained it, as I'm sure you figured out. That was kind of a lame joke. But anyways, we've drained it completely. Then you want to screw your drain plug back into the bike and just put whatever kind of oil the manufacturer recommends and however much it says to add. In my case, it's a quart and a half of 1040. Now, we just plug the thingy and the thingy and then we change the oil on Isaac's bike and then we're done. These jeans don't fit my thick thighs very well, so I gotta take my phone out if I wanna start my dirt bike. Isaac, what do you think? First kit? Second. Second? Oh. Isaac, how's that aftermarket clutch treating you here? Nice lever, nice and mint. Okay, it doesn't feel that bad. Which is better, to be wet or to be moist? Kind of the same thing, Chuck. Yeah, they're very different. I think wet is just more an extreme version of moist. So which one's better? Moist. Oh, okay, good. 
What'd you do, Isaac? Uh, transmission side. At least I noticed before I ran it. So Isaac was looking through the sight glass to try to check his oil level, and it was just not showing up after a quart and a half. And he put it in the transmission side. <laughs> Imagine being gay and having two different cases. So we went to Menards, and Dingus bought more more oil for his train. Wow. Strokes of genius. Didn't put his drain plug back in either. Do what we say, not what we do. Yeah, do. Oh my god. I'm still waiting on a few things, but the, the next segment, I think we put in the, the wrap type thing. So I have the bike pretty much cleaned off here. So the wrap I was gonna do, I kinda had this idea. Uh, I wanted to like sticker bomb the whole bike. Uh, so I think that'd be cool, but in this envelope there's like 400 stickers and then I kind of separate out the ones I liked and wanted to be on top So first things first we need to get all the exterior plastics off the bike that I want to sticker bomb right now Boom so I couldn't get this one off for some reason because this bolt is just like stuck in there But we'll just have to do that one on the bike now what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically just clean these with a little bit of Fantastic or whatever. Yeah, then just basically stick the stickers on. Okay, yeah, so a little bit of an update for you. It's slow going, but I have the front fender done. I have the back fender nearly done. And I have that radiator cover done. This one won't come off the bike over here, so that's kind of an issue. Uh, I'm gonna keep on keeping on. I haven't given you an update. Isaac has quite possibly the best sticker I got out of the whole pack. Isaac, what, what the hell? You already know this bitch going right freaking here. Smack dab. Yes. Want everyone to know how big of a Rick and Morty fan I am. There we go. This is what we talk about, boys. It's done. It's looking fresh. farm vlog again today. A lot of heavy construction noises going on. A lot of earthwork. We're building an absolute freaking booter. Like, let me show you this. We need someone for a size comparison. Kylan, stand next to the ramp. Look at this freaking... Probably like a four foot ramp. Look at this freaking booter. Turn the fire light, grab I don't know if you're familiar with shifters, but they should do something. She's stuck in fifth gear. Pretty freaking lame. Let's show you this, the Suzuki. Suzuki's are slept on. Mine's the only dirt bike that works good right now. Look at how clean this is. We got that Rick and Morty sticker front and center. New Pro Taper grips. OEM spec clearance clutch lever. Tiger custom engine. Dirty foot pegs. Suzuki's a, a fine machine right there. <laughs> Canyon, film for a little bit. Yeah. If it starts to get out of focus, depress this a little bit. Be like, you unemployed homeless bastard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh! oh. Right in the schnoz! <laughs> Got a little bit of dirt there. Ready, Canyon? Catch. Two. Ooh! Did you get that, bro? Stop <laughs> wasting cheese, damn it! This is good cheese! <laughs> Can't drop those peppercorns or if it's literally just pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of dirt in that one. See a trick from my. Uh, 
Wow, wow, that is so cool. Um, some exciting news for the- Stop holding it like that. I can tell the shot's crooked. No. This environment does not constitute good filming. Yeah, I know. I have sticker bomb my dirt bike. There's one final sticker that needs to go on. You boys ready for this? Watch. A little bit of a magic trick. Oh. What? That's right, we got RSDM Ped Gang sprocket stickers. Got the little, got the little Dilfert in the middle. This will be fine. This isn't for you to eat! You just, you just tried to eat these! Five dollars a piece, very limited supply. One final sticker to add. Looking clean. Looking absolutely, absolutely clean and a half. It goes, it goes well on anything. You don't even have to have a ped. But if you want, if you have a ped, you're on, and you watch the channel, you are a member of the RSDM Ped Gang. But if you don't have a ped and you get these stickers, you're an honorary member. Go check on the ramp progress. Ow! <laughs> know he's got true depression is Isaac who's like Mr. put on a helmet all the time which I completely agree with is not putting on a helmet. Oh wait, Kai, Katie, get the hell out of the I Wow, impressive. You know what hurt more than landing? The dust in my eyes. <laughs> and zoom in. Don't you have to you have to be dy not like all the time but like you have to be dynamic with your views. You can't just have the same freaking zoomed out shit all the time. You're done. You're not cameraman anymore. Suicide is badass. I almost ate. Don't say that. Ow. Well, boys, had a bit of a casualty today on the old RMZ. Queen Princess Lettler over here. Get off a second. Decided to turn her into a mother freaking corkscrew. Sent her all too f***ing hard, but... <laughs> don't, don't even put the camera on. Look at this, look at this subframe. Subframe, bro. Oh, mother freaking scoliosis. Hey, the plastic's held up. Hey, yeah, at least the freaking brand spanking oh, yeah. new wrap held up. We didn't even talk about the best part. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a full frontwards profile of this thing. Like, literally the freaking... I'm very one, surprised the plastics did not break. One ear rabbit on this bit. <laughs> literally. Hey, it's tapering. It's yeah, like, exactly. It's... it's, it's Oh, no, 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 it's eating the plastic right now. Right. Okay, so anyways, guys, since that little awkwardness in the last clip happened, um, we've all, we're all friends again, because we're boys, we're like that, you know? Gotta look out for the homies. What happened after that? We finished the jump, it's scary as hell. I actually went off it, and I about went butthole over tea kettle. And then I, out of the corner of my eye, a little bit later, I just see Lettler freaking try to do a handstand on it. I don't know what was happening there. So that's clapped. Don't know what the moves are now, but it's something, all right? Like, I'm gonna be honest. That was a pretty impressive kick of that helmet. Like that went high in there. Dude, that was like, like that like, was football. Like legitimately, punt. he punted. Like he punt. actually like punted this helmet like 15 feet in the air, probably. Okay. Might be done for the day. We might, we might call her a day. I'm done. Okay, <laughs> Lettler, Lettler's out. Yeah, we're gonna go back to the to the building. Okay. <laughs> Since Lettler properly clapped out my bike, it is. I think we're gonna end the video by starting to work on it here. Let's. So let's let's get to the tearing down and got my tools and I'm gonna start start working on it here. Thank you guys very much for watching this episode of South Dakota Man. If you liked it, remember to like it. Hit that subscribe button if you feel like it. Remember guys, new videos as often as we can. We all have jobs, we're all kind of busy, but we try to pump them out for you guys. We hope you really enjoy them. We hope you appreciate the work we put forth. Not saying we do a lot, but we do a little bit and we hope you guys like it. So anyways, thank you very much for watching. We love all, each and every single one of you. We just crossed 350 subscribers. That's, I know it's not that much, but it's a, it's a big accomplishment for us. So thank you very much for watching. I love you all. See you next time. Bye.